In this video, I'm gonna share my secrets, how I stay motivated to train hard every day, and how come I am crushing it in CrossFit. What's up guys, I'm Tui, I'm a vegan CrossFit athlete and online coach living in Bali. I share weekly videos about health and fitness, plant-based living and Bali life in paradise. If you hear some funny background noises, that's just the rice field guy protecting uh, his rice fields from the bird. So this is going on from like 5.30 a.m. in the morning till sunset. So um, yeah, bear with me. I just got back from a competition. It was my home gym, CrossFit Wanderlust Bali, organizing this competition. It was a charity event and it was so much fun. And once I got home, I was like, I'm gonna make a video about what is uh, motivating me in CrossFit and kind of my journey in CrossFit in a nutshell and what keeps me going every day like early to the gym and working hard every single day and what is kind of my my goals or why i'm doing it so i started crossfit about five years ago and um, i got introduced to it by a friend of mine at the time i was working out at the gym i was doing like bodybuilding type of training like um, kind of focusing on growing muscles and kind of that aesthetic part and I remember my <clears throat> first introduction to CrossFit was that uh, one of my classmates was like, yeah, let's, let's do this CrossFit thing, like, uh, let's do this workout with me. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was like five rounds for time with like strict pull-ups and some push-ups and some running and some lifting. And I remember I told him like, I can't do like strict pull-ups. He was like, yeah, yeah, you can do, you can, you can scale it, like just do three or something per round. And then um, with the cleans as well, I think it was cleans. Uh, I hadn't, I had done them like some of my early youths in like track and field, but I hadn't done them in forever. And then we started the workout and then he realized that I actually was like struggling super bad. I couldn't do, I couldn't do one strict pull up. I think I was doing the push ups like, like the wrong way or like really wide. And he was like, no, 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 you can't do push ups like that in CrossFit. And then I was struggling like on the lifting part. And then we just kind of like started laughing I was like okay maybe I have to like practice this CrossFit thing a little bit more and another friend of mine was like yeah let's go do this like uh, on-ramp course this starting course for CrossFit and first I was like a little bit intimidated I was like ah oh, I don't know like because I had that memory or that like experience trying CrossFit and I was like uh, I was strong at the time I was I was uh, like doing all like heavy squats and deadlifts and presses like that but then I knew like the Olympic weightlifting part and uh, and that's like definitely not my strength and um, then we uh, we decided to do the cross course anyway and I remember when I walked first time through CrossFit gym and I saw people like doing rope climbs and handstands and stuff like that I was like wow this is so cool like I learned when I learned this stuff and then um, I got uh, fully into it straight away and I fell in love with the sport and that was around the same time that I went vegan so I saw a slaughterhouse video on Facebook and from that moment I was like okay I'm not gonna participate in that anymore and I'm not gonna eat meat and then I um, in a like period of six weeks or something I uh, went fully vegan and it was an interesting period because I faced a lot of doubts like at that time veganism wasn't this big yet and especially CrossFit is known for like the zone diet which is like promoting to eat a lot of meat and a lot of animal products and like uh, not a lot of carbs and that so I had a lot of people come to me and say like oh you can't do CrossFit uh, being vegan like you're not gonna get enough protein like it's just not possible like you're gonna struggle and that actually made me um, a little bit doubtful like uh, like now afterwards I can say that I was a little bit like I hope I'm not gonna lose all my gains and all my muscles and especially like, people saying all that stuff like I was a little bit inside a little bit like scared like if if I would actually like you, you know like not be able to um, do CrossFit as a vegan but that also like spiked up a strong motivation in me like I'm gonna freaking show you I'm gonna I'm gonna like crush this thing and that became a really strong why for me like it was like a really strong motivator because I was like I want to show the world like I want to uh, show that it's possible and I want to inspire people to like to find this new way because especially as I said in the CrossFit circles it was all about just eating meat and animal products so I was like I wanna I wanna like see myself if it's possible and I wanna show show others and inspire others uh, about this new way that you can do CrossFit and that you can crush it even uh, if you wouldn't eat any meat or any animal products that you can just purely thrive on a, a vegan diet also in the CrossFit world 
And what happened when I, um, when I went plant-based and I started eating whole food plant-based, like I, I said, like I was already training a lot. I just like changed the training style. But I saw like I started to gain so much more energy because um, I was eating so much. Like at the time, guys, I was eating a lot of animal products. Like before I went vegan, I was eating animal products on all my meals. I was like really focused on protein and I was like eating a lot of meat, a lot of dairy, a lot of eggs. And so when I switched, it was actually quite a big change for me, even though I did it gradually uh, on the course of like, I think it was a, about six weeks or something like that. So what I started seeing when I, when I ditched all the animal products, like I started to feel so much better. I started to feel so much more like energized and clear. And I got really excited about that because I didn't have this kind of fogginess in my mind. I didn't get this like kind of food coma after eating, I didn't feel tired, I didn't have to have naps or rest and I, see, I felt like I started to recover from my workouts faster and what happened to my body, I went from, I can't remember exactly, I think I was about like 20 percentage body fats uh, down to 13 percent so I got really lean and that obviously helps a lot in, in CrossFit like in uh, body weight movements like gymnastics like pull-ups and, and push-ups and all other stuff like where you have to and handsome push-up stuff like that where you have to like be lifting your own body and like cardio running and that so um, yeah it was like a big benefit that I, I lost all my excess kind of fat tissue and I got really lean uh, whilst I was still gaining strength and I would say like some of the pros and cons like uh, being a CrossFit athlete or CrossFitter on a plant-based diet like uh, for uh, for the pros is definitely um, it's easier to stay lean and also um, your recovery is probably going to speed up your body is uh, less inflammated because animal products in general are quite acidic and that is like an um, environment in the body to cause inflammation which is like uh, can lead to like joint pain and aches and injuries forming easily or other types of um, disease and of course in general like animal products also contain quite a bit of like saturated fats and um, also of course depends how the animals are raised they often con contain like antibiotics and, and hormones and stuff like that that you don't necessarily want to get in your body that also is linked to many like lifestyle diseases like type 2 diabetes and heart disease and strokes and stuff like that so yeah like health benefits wise there is a lot of uh, science based evidence on uh, speaking for a whole food plant-based diet of course you can do both diets uh, wrong so you need to do you need to know what you're doing and I would say for the kind of cones like the downsides that can can be if you are doing CrossFit and if you're in a plant-based diet first of all I mentioned like the uh, if it's your environment supportive for that so I said like CrossFit um, used to be, it's changing now, but it used to be like really heavily promoting eating meat and it was all about the zone diet and that so it might be difficult if all the people around you are not believing in you or are like making making fun about veganism or you know like if, if um, you have that environment that it's not really supporting that so that can be challenging at times but I said I think that's changing really fast like there's more and more plant-based athletes in general and also in the CrossFit world like more and more people are going plant-based and showing that it's, uh, it's possible and that it actually can be really beneficial even for your performance and, and your individual health despite of course like how much better it's for the planet and for the animals as well. The things that I mentioned that can be a uh, challenge is uh, if you're an athlete especially in a sport that you need to um, build muscle and strength you need to pay attention of course to your protein intake However, I wouldn't say that this is a problem. Just, this is just something that you need to learn. If you're used to like getting your protein from animal products, then you just need to learn like the plant-based protein sources because um, when you're an athlete, you need a little bit more protein than like a regular adult population. So for the regular adult population, the requirement is like 0.8 grams per uh, kilogram body weight. And for athletes, it's around 1.4, I think up to two. So um, yeah, that's just something that you need to consider, that you need to, you need to learn how to get your protein from uh, plant-based sources, which is really easy and simple. So you just need to take your time to kind of study that or uh, get a professional to help you with that. And once you, once you know how to get it, once you 
have formed your new habits, then it's just going to be as simple and easy as it would have been on your old diet. So then after that, it's, it's no problem or no challenge at all. And maybe the third one that I would mention in that can be a challenge is um, perhaps convenience. So again, like if you're used to being something, uh, used to doing something a certain way, like uh, learning a new new way of eating and new lifestyle just of course takes a little bit of time and effort at the start but as said like once you once you find your way and you build those new habits it just becomes automatic and it's as easy as it would have been before this of course also depends on uh, where you live in some countries it's uh, easier some countries might be like the vegan movement might not be um, that far yet so that of course like depends a little bit about your geographical location as well but I believe if there's a will there's a way you can always find vegetables and fruits and um, simple things like legumes and, and rice and rice and beans and stuff like that so it shouldn't be a problem uh, if you just look into it a little bit and yeah what I have seen along this journey of about five years is like super cool to see how the world is changing so I said when I went vegan I didn't really know many vegan athletes, especially in CrossFit, and um, every, everyone was quite doubtful, but nowadays it's just becoming like really normal, and, and um, there's more and more people showing uh, the way and leading by example, and especially it's inspiring, of course, to see athletes do it, because um, we have been taught so uh, strongly that like you need protein and, uh, and animal products to get your protein, and, and when athletes show from like different sports that it's, it's possible to uh, thrive on a plant-based diet and perform really well. Uh, that like wakes people up into like this new possibility. And um, this is not saying that you can't. Like sometimes I face these weird arguments, like yeah, but there's also so many athletes on meat diets and they're performing well as well. So it's not an, like that's not a relevant argument. But it's not about like competing in a way. Like okay, now when someone showing that you can uh, thrive on a plant-based diet, that it means that you can't um, thrive on, a, on an omnivore diet, right? It's just that it is possible like this because that's kind of the old way that we, are, we have been used to. And then showing that new way, like it is possible to also do it on a vegan diet and there might be even some benefits that might not occur in that on the um, old way that we have been doing and i recommend if you haven't seen the documentary the game changers definitely watch it a super inspiring documentary about um at least going plant-based and uh, like studies around it and and all talk about um vegan food and performance compared to like animal products and that so definitely go give that a watch i think it is on netflix at least used to be i believe so i uh, just google it you'll find it and yeah, personally, I'm just, uh, this just inspires and motivates me so much to um, keep showing this away and, and kind of like, for me, it's like, if it's possible to be vegan in CrossFit and thrive and crush it on a vegan diet in CrossFit, then it's possible in any sport. So for me, it's just my biggest motivation, like, um, like you know, putting myself out there and competing and that it's not about like, um, of course, I also do it for myself and to have fun and stay fit and I, I really love this sport but uh, the, the biggest motivation that keeps me, keeps me going is that desire to show the world that it's possible to be freaking strong and fit and thrive your life and perform well in CrossFit or in any sport on a plant-based diet because our planet is dying, our mother earth cannot sustain our way of living and eating anymore so some changes need to be implemented sooner rather than later and also um, I believe one big reason why veganism is has exploded and has become so popular is because the awareness is raising, like people are becoming aware about the sustainability issues around eating meat and animal products and also the unethical treatment of animals is seeing more and more daylight like um, people are realizing that the the false image about happy meat and like cows on on uh, grass grass uh, fields and every other animal smiling and being happy like people are <clears throat> becoming er aware that those are just lies and they're just marketing to um, make us believe that that's how the foods are produced but when people um, find out about the reality, find out about how the food is really produced in factory farms and, and the slaughterhouse process and that, like, which is over 90% globally. That's why many people want to make the switch, so not just um, purely for like health reasons or performance reasons if you're an athlete, but also becoming aware that there is 
um, a more sustainable and compassionate way and then where this comes into play like this um, motivation that I have is like you can you can uh, live a lifestyle eat a diet that is more sustainable and compassionate whilst not having to compromise on your health and performance that it can even be like a benefit for you to only eat plants and that you can stay super healthy and fit and be strong and uh, just crush it so, so yeah that's that's my strongest um, motivation that keeps me going and um, it's it's also like one of the, the biggest rewards that I get is when people message me and come or come tell me that I have inspired them to eat less meat or go plant-based and that's like the, the biggest like warm that I get in my heart because it reminds me that it, it really matters like on an individual level like sometimes when people think like oh but one individual cannot cannot make a difference first of all I believe that all change starts within yourself as Gandhi said be the change you want to see in the world and not only how much you can contribute with your choices but of course like also the example you set for people around you and the inspiration that you can give so that is something that uh, really makes me smile when I when I hear people come up to me uh, telling me that and uh, that's why I will keep um, I will keep doing this and I will keep training hard and uh, competing and crushing my goals to keep showing the world and keep inspiring so that's my uh, my motivation behind CrossFit and I'd love to know if any of you watching this video are plant-based CrossFitters or plant-based athletes or plant-based active people whatever like I'd love to know or if you are a CrossFitter or an athlete uh, willing to go more plant-based or are like in that trans transformation phase or I wanted to do the switch. I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message on Instagram, The Vegan CrossFit Girl. I'd love to connect with you and have a chat. If there's any support or help that you need, just um, shoot me a message and I'd love to have a chat with you. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.